Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here reacting to the new Ant-Man trailer. Yes, for reals this time. Uh, I did one, I recorded one, and I went to go edit it. And while I was editing it, I was listening to somebody else's thoughts on it. And I realized they watched a different trailer to me because they were talking about a scene I hadn't seen. And then when I, I went to go grab uh, the footage of the trailer to put into my reaction... And I realized uh, that, that was a couple months old uh, from my <laughs> thing. So I, I, I watched the wrong one. And I thought I had watched one a while ago, but I guess whenever that one was, I watched some teaser trailer that was even older. So I, obviously I was hyped off of that. I want to see if I can be more hyped off of what's coming next. Um, so I haven't seen this. I, I have been spoiled a little bit on it, but... Uh, you know, I was having a hard time. Obviously, there's going to be some redone footage. But, um, you know, it seems like Kang's going to be a bigger part of this trailer. So I'm excited about that because that was the thing I was most interested in. And I did look up online. Same actor. But he is being, by makeup and all that, like he's playing two different Kangs. So, um the one you saw in Loki is going to be a very different Kang than what we're going to see here. Two different Kangs, two different points in their timeline. So they're using makeup and stuff to make him look different. Um, but it is still the same guy under it all. And, um, and he doesn't, I, you know, I saw some still shot pictures. So I, I've been slightly spoiled on this, but um, looking at that, not me squinting at the camera. Uh, I could tell who was who. So with that, let's get into it. Hmm. You're an interesting man. Scott Lang. Okay, so similar intro, but this time You're Kang man. talking. Yeah. You have a daughter. But you've lost a lot of time. Like me. That is such an interesting concept. We could help each other with that. He said like me. It's going to be a king that's hurting. I, I think we're going to play a lot on the father dynamic. Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Ooh, the blue? Oh, I like that. Okay, so he's going to make a deal with Kang. They can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. He can give us a second oh. chance. Let me make this easy for you. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call life. Mm. He's playing big on the daddy. Like, give me what I want or I'll take away your family. Whoa. We had a deal. Is that Modoc? You thought you could win. Hmm. He's really king. Ant Man the Wasp. Quantum Mania. <sighs> February 17th. Not a long time to wait. Okay. Um. <laughs> I gotta stop saying okay. Uh, wow. Thoughts. So, um. First off, I'm gonna talk about what I was thinking about right there at the end. Um. Maybe Paul Rudd is going to die in this. Maybe we're going to get the end of Ant-Man. Scott Lang. Um, I actually, since they're hinting towards that in the trailer, think that that's a bait and switch. Um, 
I don't think he's because I, I previously predicted like I don't think this is going to be the last one. Um, he seems like he's willing to do more movies. Um, he's kind of a rising star uh, at a big part of his career, and um, I don't really think he's going to try to uh, end his his MCU career um, as he's just starting to get to shine. Um, but um, I could see what I could see is him, um, locking King in because King is supposed to be like the big bad. So you, that, that kind of tells you like, if he's going to be the big team up bad, then a couple of things have to happen. Either he has to just wipe the floor with Ant-Man and Ant-Man dies or, or like comes back defeated and then the Avengers have to come together to stop King or, or Ant-Man makes the big sacrifice in some way to lock him and King in. Uh, I'm thinking of like the old Spider-Man cartoon where, uh, in not old, but like the nineties. Um, and they, they showed like Captain America. They did a kind of a play instead of being frozen in the ice, like, he jumped into a machine with a red skull and it froze them both into this like other dimension locked outside of time, uh, in an internal struggle. And, um, and then this brought back on Spider-Man's the nineties. Um, but like something like that, like Ant-Man makes a play to stop Kang and we're to believe that Ant-Man's dead, but then he'll, he'll be back kind of like um endgame versus infinity war like oh all our heroes died and, and then they came back in the final battle i could see them doing something like that but i don't think they're going to kill off his character permanently um the fact that they're hinting that in the trailer makes me think it won't happen but that's just me um sorry my throat's a little sore but general thoughts um <clears throat> i'm sorry it looks awesome king looks great king looks great and um i've so heard some other people talking about how it was like just cg fest it is but man is it beautiful sci-fi and if it's beautiful cg like isn't that what we want from superhero movies? Like, if you're not there to be in awe of CG, then why are you even going to these things? Um, I mean, that's what I want. I, if I'm going to see Quantum Mania, I want to see it go way out there. Um, I don't want to see just Ant-Man having a heist in a van. Well, I'm excited. February can't come soon enough, and I'm going to end this before I go into a coffee. Everybody, have a good day.